lack principles, Charlie. Isn't there anything you'd die for? Well, easy, Tiger. That's a tailored shirt. Oh, shut up and let me kiss you. The first dead man on Omaha Beach must be a sailor. Who is it? Who is barging in? Buzz, the strangest thing just oh, happened. Please. Say, Charlie, close Admiral the door. Admiral came barging into my room in his nightshirt. Buzz yelling at the top of his lungs, the first dead man on Omaha Beach must be a sailor. Every few years, there comes a motion picture so extraordinary, so provocative, that it excites controversy and curiosity from its very inception. Such a film, one of the most important and talked about in more than a decade, is the Americanization of Emily. Well, it's a hell of a D-Day, that's all I can say. How did we ever get into this? What tomb? Well, the tomb for the unknown sailor. Unknown sailor? Holy cow! Commander, I think you're out of your ever-loving mind. But it all ends in someone's bed, doesn't it? I mean, that's the point, isn't it? I think I want to tell my kids that on D-Day, their father was shacked up at the Westchester Hotel. Will you stop jumping around? Oh, well, I'm naked, dear. I'm looking for something to put on. This is my best friend, you dotty witch, not the house detective. Now, just stand at attention while Commander Mattis and I confer. I'm a practicing coward. You're quite a dog robber. Yeah, I arrange girls, but individual tastes varied, of course. You're despicable. You're a scoundrel, Charlie. Seems I don't mind making love to a scoundrel, but I... I think it immoral to marry one. Ho-ho! Oh, we're gonna make a brass band hero out of Charlie. How could you do this to me? Get your pants on, Mac. You're forever falling in love with men on their last nights of furlough. That's about the limit of your commitments. One night, a day, a month. You'd prefer lovers to husbands, hotels to homes. I'm gonna slap your face, Charlie. Go ahead, I won't hit you back. I'm a coward. 